They say that Greeks 2,000 years ago invented a kind of repeating ballista that could fire five bolts in a row and hit targets 200 yards away. To test the rumor, Adam planned to recreate one of these ballistae, but the original construction method hadn't been fully preserved. All he could find out was that the weapon was driven by a hand crank. Gears would drive a chain to feed bolts from a magazine. The main frame of the ballista was made of wood, then rails and a recurved bow assembly were built as the firing mechanism. The gears and chain were mounted in their planned positions, and finally the bolt magazine and crank were attached to the drive system. At that point, the repeating ballista was complete. Its working principle was simple. First, you load bolts into the magazine, then turn the gears so that a slider engages with a helical groove. As it rotated, the mechanism pushed a bolt into the firing position while the bowstring was pulled back and latched, so the bolt would fire automatically. During testing, the first three bolts fired smoothly and each reached beyond 250 yards, striking the intended targets. But the mechanism always jammed on the fourth bolt. The same problem recurred even after resetting the system. The issue turned out to be that the bowstring wouldn't catch properly on the draw latch, so they had to disassemble and readjust the components. After adjustments, the ballista could fire 10 bolts in a single sequence, and they added wheels to make it mobile. Then they brought in the top archer in the United States and used his performance as a benchmark, comparing speed and accuracy. First, the archer took the test at 200 yards, the time and number of bolts required to knock down five targets. The archer needed two minutes and 11 bolts. Next, they ran the same test with the ballista, with the archer aiming. The ballista required 30 bolts to take down four targets, and the bowstring broke three times during the test, requiring time and manpower to repair. A device that unreliable would have been taken out on the battlefield long ago. So although the experiment's raw data matched the old rumor in some respects, the weapon's maintenance cost and lack of reliability remain its biggest flaws.